Oh, we get to shop now. Ganda niya. We get to shop now. Uh, <laughs> and then Pat, will we get to shop now? Still not. <laughs> Kyoto. Most of the sites I've already seen though. But now that we have a tourist guide, I finally understand everything and I can ask one more question. Excuse my eyes. Problem of the day. I woke up with swollen eyes. I didn't know that the food in the plane had shrimp sauce, so I ate it happily and woke up with swollen eyes. I'm sorry, dear viewers, my eyes are looking like Garfield today. Now entering the Kinkakuji Temple. We have our tourist guide over here leading everything. So this is actually the ticket to the temple and our tourist guide says that it's actually a good luck charm. So it's a super unique ticket. And this one over here is actually a tea house. Cute, cute tea house. So now we got to see the tea house up close. It's actually first built 400 years ago, but it was bombed down, so now this is reconstructed already. If you ever come here and wonder why people are sitting here, this is actually the noble woman's chair. If you're not noble, walk the <laughs> So this is a temple for the god of fire. Over here, you'll see the wishes of the people. Look at how creative the Japanese people are. So you'll see different languages here. We've got Chinese, 健康, 平安, meaning healthy and peace. That's the only thing I know. Ayan, 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 may direction tayo here. <laughs> Yung totoo, inuuto mo lang siya, you know? Sabi ni Jerry, dapat daw siya ang mag-adjust. So, sino mag-adjust? Ang photographer ang mag-adjust. Tama. So, ang picture taking, para lang yung relationship. Someone has to adjust. <laughs> Our tourist guide said, food tasting time! We're gonna try something that looks pink. Let's see if it's good. <laughs> So it's like a grape with cherry blossom and there's like a jam inside. It's very sweet but good. I want to try some more but I'm kind of shy and I feel like they will judge me so I just try some. So our church guy said we should try this. This is green tea chocolate. Mmm, so good! And then this is caramel chocolate. Sabi ko I'm shy. Everyone's quiet now. Thank you! <laughs> Time for lunch! My favorite part of this trip. Don't tell the Wakul team, but I just said yes for the food. Joke lang, Miss Anne! The difficult part, <laughs> removing my shoes. As some of you may know, I just recently found out I'm allergic to shrimp. Why? Here's the whole thing, I don't get allergic. You only live one time. Probably have insurance, right? Nisan. Joke lang. Nanakot. Sugar ordered me more food. Because he pitied me. And my allergy. Thank you. When in Japan, you must soft serve. So we're now going to do the Japanese style of Zen meditating. So apparently what you want to do this meditation, you have to do it with your eyes half closed so that your eyes won't get dry and it'll help you concentrate more. And according to our master meditator, I don't know what to call him. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, according to him, it's nice to do like drink posture, sitting down and just do like deep breathing. Like breathe through your nose and then exhale through your mouth. Do it every day for 20 minutes so that you can just align your mind body and your heart so just sit properly straight and then 
<laughs> now relax your mind, open your eyes, and you will feel better. We're now on the way to this tea ceremony and I'm excited because even though I've been to Japan before, I've never really done any of the tea ceremonies. So now I finally get to see it, finally get to understand the process. Oh, so these are tea leaves, half a year old leaves that matured and then they grind it into powder. So Rika said was the one who started the tea ceremony about 400 years ago. Before, it was just consumed by like very high-ranking people. Apparently, it's also important to know which hands to use. Apparently, there's a proper way to receive tea. You just take the bowl with your right palm and then put it here. And then you twist it so that you drink from the part that there's no print. You drink it like this. And now she's cleaning the utensils again and closing the ceremony. She says that it actually takes four to five years to master the tea ceremony. So now it's our turn to make our own tea. Okay, so you're supposed to whisk really fast and very lightly so it doesn't become bitter. Nakakangawit siya besh. Time to try my tea. Sana hindi siya bitter kasi ayaw natin ng bitter sa buhay. Just right. Life is so much better if you're not bitter. Friendly reminder from It's Camille Ko. So that's it for our tea ceremony. They said that drinking green tea has healing powers and takes away your sickness and everything. So bukas magaling na ako. My cold will be gone. Paparazzi! Sugasan! Used to be in the Philippines. What's your favorite gay word? Echicero! Yeah! <laughs> If you guys have seen my old travel posts on the blog, then these streets are probably familiar to you. I've vlogged about these streets as well. The old traditional streets of Kyoto. So this is a famous street where everyone takes photos because you actually have a view of the street here. Blossom tree! It's finally starting to bloom. So I remember when I went here three years ago, it was already under renovation. And this is the main hall. They call this the Kiyomizu stage. And apparently, during the Edo period, around 400 people actually jumped off this stage because they have a saying called jump off the Kiyomizu stage and 400 of the people actually wanted to try it just for fun because you know YOLO and 80% of the people actually survived but oh, bash they jumped off from here all the way down there I'm good I don't need to YOLO First day pa lang, pinapainom na kami. It's his fault. Yeah. Good morning. Day two here in Japan. And today's lingerie is gonna be, of course, Karakwa Cool. This is their new collection, the Gokochi style. It's seamless. And unlike other seamless bras though, these actually have form. So I'm gonna wear this today, so I'm gonna be comfortable the entire day. It's my favorite actually, it's also what I wore coming here, but in a different print. This print is actually a special print only available here in Japan. Look at that, it's so thin, so, so smooth. Hello! So we're now on the way to Hakurugi Wako. I don't know if I said it right, but it sounds like that. So we're gonna ride the bullet train now to go there. Today is Wako day, so I'm gonna show you guys what happens at the Wako. Headquarters. Headquarters or factory? We'll find out soon. Oh, factory. Thank you so much, Liz of ProjectVanity.com. Feels like we're going on a field trip with our teacher, Kasuga-san. A 
at Justera. <laughs> I figured out where we're supposed to go in the movie. It's still a mystery, but I will confirm again. Take off shoes, it's easy now. Yeah. <laughs> Little happiness. Watch how easy it is. I feel like I'm wearing my daddy's slippers. Newest fashion statement. The mystery has now been solved. It's whole Kuriku. The class has now begun. So we're at the first stage of the Wakol process. So apparently this is where they make like 90% of their Wakol designs. And it undergoes like 5 to 6 prototypes per design. And they're not even sure if it's gonna go into production for the masses. Look at these. These look like something that dolls would wear. They're that small. As well as my hand. Actually, sort of feel like their factory looks like a clinic or a hospital. That clean, so far from how usual factories look like. So this is where they receive the materials for the Rockhold products. So much fabric. They use around 800 materials annually. Wow. I'm so allergic to dust, like intense allergy. So when I do fabric sourcing, I really sneeze a lot. But here, voila, it's so clean. Oh, and now we're at the cutting room. So they get the fabric and they put it in this machine. And this machine spreads the fabric out so that it's all neat and clean. And then on that table over there, you'll see they're spreading out the fabric. And here is the lace carefully being cut. Oh, look at that special ruler. Sewing room. So each area has their own specialty. This area is like the lingerie area. Oh, look at that. Look, those are pads. Never seen pads like it. Look at how she inspects everything. So that was the pads that we saw earlier. So again, guys, this is to make the boobs smaller. AKA, not something I need. Not something Cherry needs. So apparently, this bra is becoming popular in Japan. AKA, hashtag less sila. So if you're wondering why I'm holding it like this, it's because we have a translator and I can't really hear her so well. Now, this is the underwear area. It's a premium brand of rock hold. You can really see it. Look at the lace. French lace, everyone. So this is the quality control or inspection room. So basically they do 100% quality control once and then if it doesn't pass, then they bring it back to production so that it can get repaired. But if it passes, then they go through spot checks still. So it's still scrutinized so that you are sure to have your very, very, very best Wako product. Lunch. I ordered saba with tofu, fried pork with rice. So if you guys haven't been here to Japan, most of their restaurants are really specialized. They don't really mix, for example, if it's known for like all steaks, then it's all steak. Or if it's all tempura, then it's all tempura. Like if it's all sushi, then it's all sushi. Why am I blowing it? It's cold actually. So right now we're at Takeda Lee's factory. So cool. So this is the design of the lace and she's actually doing it over here. That's the final product. So they use different types of thread for the lace and she's actually doing it on Photoshop. Apparently there's so much thought that goes into this. She has to think of the types of yarn or where she's gonna put holes in them, what direction it has to go. Oh my god, she sketched this. You're so good. <laughs> These are some of the old designs that they did. I'm so amazed because I love working with lace. So there's a reason why lace is always so expensive. Apparently, it takes one month just to develop lace fabric. This machine is actually what they use to knit the lace. So imagine that, that's already machine-made lace. So even more when you buy hand-sewed lace. Now these are the lace that are used for shorts. Look at all that lace! Mm. So this is the yarn base. And it's a stretch type. See? Oh, it's so light. Dinner time! Looks fancy. Hello, Team Philippines! <laughs> Walang energy. The only one with energy because I'm the only young one. Just kidding. Come by. Already 
back in my room and we just finished our day today and I just wanted to show you guys the other design of the Gokochi seamless bra that I showed you guys earlier in this morning. This print is actually available in the Philippines. I'm not gonna show you my tummy because I just <laughs> finished dinner. But yeah, I just want to show you this design. It's so cute, right? It's got pads on and it's so comfortable. I'm literally gonna wear this to all my long haul flights. Well, they're like second skin. You don't even feel your bra. Like, you know how when you're wearing a bra and at the end of the day when you remove it, you're like, yes, freedom! With this one, you feel freedom the entire day. The enti I'm not kidding. I really am not kidding. But if you're not into the printed stuff, then it's okay because actually Gokochi is available in plain colors as well and the Philippine branches have that. So that's it for today. Tomorrow I'm gonna show you guys my Wakol choice for my outfit. Hopefully we'll see some Sakuras, we'll have some free time. Because I really, 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 really thought about that outfit for Sakura backdrop. But if not, then at least you guys get to see it. Night, folks! Mwah. See you tomorrow! Good morning, day 3. And today's bra choice is this pretty lace bra given to me by Wakol. And it's matching bottoms. Doesn't it remind you of Sakura? So you'll see my outfit later and you'll understand why I want my bra to be this one. Kind of matches my outfit. Outfit of the day! As I said, it kind of matches my bra. Which is why that was my Wakol bra choice of today. First thing on the agenda is we're gonna go to Takashimaya Mall. It's actually not open yet for the public but they opened it for us so that we can get a special look of the Wakol store there. And maybe we could also have a special look of all the shopping areas there. Dun, 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 dun. Happy birthday to you! Happy <laughs> birthday <laughs> 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 guys! birthday Let's not judge her. Okay? Tomorrow we can judge her. We're going through the back entrance. Not your usual Takashimaya entrance. And we're here! <laughs> I'll show you guys my favorite pieces. Look at it, it's so pretty. I actually want to wear it outside and shock the world. Look, it also has a slip. I would totally wear this outside. Of course, something inside I'm not gonna show the world my nipples. Ooh, this also is really nice. Look at all the details. My mom has a ton of these. So she usually wears these corset type things whenever she's wearing like a tight blouse. And I would always ask her like, Ma, why are you buying so much? You just need like maybe two, three. Oh, this one is really handy. It's a night up bra. So I guess it is like a more comfortable, like very sandal type. So you see like there's a shape over there. So it's what you wear when you go to sleep. And you don't want to go completely braless. This is for the so this was the one I was talking to you guys about, my favorite, Gokochi. So as I've told you, it doesn't only come in prints, but it also comes in plain colors. So the most practical would probably be the nude color. So you could wear it with your white and light colored pieces. So it also comes with seamless bottoms. It comes in a lot of different prints as well. If you've got abs and you want to flaunt it, you can actually already wear this outside, like as a crop top. It's Camille Call Recommends. Nicole seriously has the nicest slip dresses and camisoles. So soft and silky. Wakol actually also has a sleepwear line which is called Chumori Chisato. This is the brand. It also has those really cutesy Japanese prints. And the fabric is also super soft and breathable. So they even have these like, simple sets. If you guys look at the bras, they kind of look pointed. So it's actually done on purpose so that whenever you're wearing like a lot of layers, it still wouldn't look flat. Now it's time to leave. Bye, Takashimaya. We didn't get to shop. <laughs> Bend down so that your boobs are pulled down by gravity and it's really forming on the cup. So you bend down, you clasp your bra, and then you scoop your boobs in place. And it's actually how we also do it at my shop since I also design right and we design gowns with corsets, and it's also how we ask our clients to wear the corsets. It will make your boobs look 
top notch. So a lot of you ask me whenever I'm wearing gowns that are so tight or whenever I'm wearing skirts that are really, really <laughs> body conscious. So it's usually like this. This is how a seamless underwear looks like. You won't see any binding or piping on the top part and on the hem. So these feel like second skin. So you just have to look for the proper ones. This one's actually really good because it has some sort of like gathering or shearing there right by the butt area. So you know that it won't give you a wedgie. <laughs> TMI because seamless underwear is usually so light and so smooth and so thin it always rides up So you don't want that there are certain brands that are like that But these from a are really really good So these are actually special bottoms that you can wear whenever you have your period They actually have something like this, but not as fancy It's nice because it has this extra layer here for example. It's like a super heavy flow. It's still stays on this like it actually happened to me TMI but it did go through my outer clothing because of these extra layer it fits well so you're sure that your pads don't move it's Camille Cobb recommended again and it's available in so many different colors and styles one of the great things about Wakol is actually whichever branch you go to they actually help you get your right bra size you know how we always complain that oh it's not comfortable but really it's just not the right bra size for you so if you get the right bra size then your boobs will look better it'll fit you well and will look so much better even when you wear your clothes on it will give you the proper figure so I have here a special person to help me show you guys what you'll usually get in store like how they will measure for your proper bra size so they measure under your bust and also right on your bust area right on the level of where your nipples are which is the pointiest area of your bust thank you so much so that's it so this is the new Kyoto building by Wakoal. This is how big the Wakoal building is. They actually have a study hall where people can just come here and study. And all these Wakoal products are on display. So cool, right? Such a nice way to use this space. She's the designer of Treffel, which is another prestige brand of Wakoal. Also a designer. I chose lilac because they have a story here that it's rare that you find like a five petal lilac and if you do find it, you swallow all five petals and you and your lover will be together forever. So the material of this is actually synthetic leather with a Swarovski bead bonga. I passed the luck to you. They actually hid five petal lilacs on the inside. Yeah, it's here! So now time to eat it! So the lace that they chose for this collection is actually sort of like a princess lace. It's a very delicate lace. Beautiful. So the theme of this is new moon because they're saying that if you pray to the new moon when you're at the northernmost part of the world, then your wish will be granted. Look at all that lace. They cut out the fabric and then they just put embroidery. Well done. groups it's all really about luck so not like superstitious beliefs and all that look at how cute that nighty is you can actually wear it out this is how the bra looks for the collection <laughs> so they sew like they used lame thread so there are shiny parts that kind of symbolizes the stars so you'd also see it in the nighty i'm bringing the shooting star home Look, it matches my skirt! So during the designing stage, they say that it takes them six months and from actually the approval and going to the stores, it takes another six months. So imagine that for just a piece of bra, this actually took a year from conceptualizing to the real thing. So next time that you see a bra, don't hate, appreciate. So now we're off to have lunch. Someone's hungry! Ready, set, attack! These were the first bra pads that Wakol invented. These are the parts actually. So it was in the 1940s. Inside it actually looked like this. It has a, like a cone spring and you have like a thread to push it together. And this is the final product. So funky, right? So what if it decides to just get broken? It'll just like, it's deadly. <laughs> deadly bra pad. Before Western dressing was introduced to Japan, they didn't really have the need for bras because they didn't need to wear bras under their kimonos. But when the Western dressing was introduced, that's why Mr. Yamamoto decided to also get into bras. Correction, correction, Wakol's founder is actually Mr. Chokamoto and he actually used his wife to be his first model for the first 
bra prototype that he actually invented. Look at how many parts make up a bra. So now we're at the Labada room. And a Labada tip from Miss Anne of Wakul Philippines says that if you can't hand wash your bras, then you can also wash them all together. So like pile them on top of each other and put them inside your laundry bag and then you put it on soft spin. Folks, soft spin. But hand washing is much much better. My disclaimer. And tip number two is kailangan ganun ganun lang. Uh-huh. And then you just squeeze the water. Make himas himas. Like how you make himas to your boyfriend. You know? And that. Tip number three. And if you want to dry it, soft towel only. Number four, when you're going to hang it to dry, do not hang it with the straps. This is the hanger. You fold here. Yeah, and ganun. You're welcome, folks. <laughs> So we just finished our day with Wakol and now we're on the search for cherry blossoms. So we got really lucky with our taxi driver because he speaks really good English and he's sort of like a tourist guy. Even now, you will see the best cherry blossom of the cat. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you very much. Our driver says this house always blooms really good. So the driver told us to keep walking straight until we reach a dead end and turn right. And look at us! is here! We're so lucky! And there's practically no one because it's raining so hard. See? If you will something to happen, it'll really happen. So now I will the rain to stop. Stop rain! We just finished taking photos and true enough, the rain had started again. So thank you Lord for at least giving us a long window for us to shoot. And thank you Miss Anne and Sir Jerry for being my production team. Because they are sila sa akin. But you know, Instagram is life. Guys, can I just say, if you guys watched my bag collection video and you saw my recommendation about the Colonel, and I'm sure you guys saw in the video earlier how muddy it was at the Kyoto Imperial Palace, but look at my shoes! No mud. Because I sprayed Colonel spray and I just wiped it off and it's still clean as ever. It's still super immaculate. So, there. It really works. And look at my photographer, Sir Jerry's shoes. <laughs> There. Look at how muddy his shoes are. No colonel, that's why. <laughs> For our last dinner, I think we're having sushi. And we were all just wishing actually that our last dinner should be sushi. And I think our wish is gonna be coming true. It's gonna be granted. But wait, that's not mine because I'm allergic to it. Who bells? So I get this. On behalf of the Wakol Group, we are very happy and very grateful. Thankful to all our influencers who came here today and joined us for this Passion for Product Tour. And so to everyone, may I say, Kampai! yet another hearty meal with the Wakol team and while keeping my stuff I just realized that I never really showed you the gifts that Wakol gave us prior and during this trip. I want to give you guys a quick run through of what I received from Wakol so that you can see all the awesome products. They gave us two pouches which I assumed was to put our undies in so I put my new Wakol bras and my new Wakol undies here and they also gave us this cutest laundry bag ever. So all my dirty intimates are here as well. So these are the two bras that I haven't worn during this trip. I brought so much Wakol bras that I have extras. So this is their famous bandeau that everyone knows and loves. It's the best seller up to this day. And they also have this nice cute mood bra. And it comes with a high-waisted undies actually. Isn't this the cutest? Looks like a bikini even. This one actually reminds me of Mark by Mark Jacobs. <laughs> actually, I still have more, but I've already worn them, so they're already in my dirties. 
but I've already showed you the Gokochi seamless underwear the other night and I also showed you guys the lace bra that I'm currently wearing and then when I got here I received another Gokochi pair which is this exclusive print that's only available in Japan so I'm gonna wear this especially during the new year for extra extra luck as I've mentioned Chomori Tusato is actually also owned by Wako so this is a laundry bag as well and ta-da! I'm so happy! This is actually my favorite. It's a Chimori Chisato pair of slippers and I'm actually in search of new cute house slippers and they look so comfy and snug and they're not at all big or loose. I love it. So that's it. Those are many gifts from this press trip from Wakol but actually more than the gifts, I'm really so thankful of the experience because I never really appreciated lingerie more than how I appreciate it now. Like it's just I never thought there's so much that goes into making lingerie like the type of research the studies the tests the quality control that Wakol does it really makes me appreciate my Wakol laundry so so much more and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you got some tips every now and then like our Labada tips and all those but yeah overall I really found this trip so informative and I again thank you so much Wakol for including me in this trip I had so much fun I feel like the four days and three nights here in Kyoto is such a quick 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 trip i wish it was longer i wish we got to stay here longer and got to spend more time with the wakol team here but anyways that's it i want to say good night to everyone goodbye to everyone this is the end of my video i hope that you guys liked it and you guys know the drill subscribe turn your notifications on leave a comment and give me a thumbs up bye everyone thank you so much for watching how do you say goodbye um, I don't know how to say goodbye in Japanese. I have to research that.